Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the homework of lesson 6. So after that homework lesson 6, you're going to have a quiz due and you're going to have exam 1. And uh, the homework 6 probably takes about at least uh, 1 or at least 2 or 3 hours, I'm not sure. So it takes a little bit of time. So make sure you've uh, finished everything on time, okay? So you go to the assignment, all assignment, then all chapters, then show all. Then you can see all your work is here. And then you choose uh, lesson 6. Um, you see, I did uh, most of them, and uh, then before I give you this video, I checked everything. All right. So the first question: the daily amount of coffee in liters dispensed by dispensed by machine located X continue to say that it's a um, uniform distribution. Uniform distribution from seven to ten. So the uniform distribution of probability equals one over b minus a. So the power distribution is 1 over 3, okay? So the first question is, at most 9.4, so x is bigger than, so at most 9.4, less than 9.4. We look at the picture from 7, from 7 to 10, and there's 1.9.4. So less than 9.4, but it have to be bigger than 7, okay? Then this, this probability will equal um, nine nine point four minus seven over three, because the whole distance is three. Okay, so this portion is nine point four minus seven, so it's two point four over three, and to simplify this equals uh, twenty four over three, thirty, and equals reduced by six, so it's four out of five. Okay, let me explain it one more. So the second one more than. 74 but less than 8.3 okay 7 10 between 74 and 8.3 and this distance and the probability of x is less than 8.3 bigger than 7.4 and this will equals 8.3 minus 7.4 over the whole distance which is a 3 okay and then it with this equals um 0.9 over 3, which is 9 over 30, and they reduce it, it's going to be 3 out of 10. Okay, you figure out the last one by yourself. Alright, so this is also another um, uniform distribution problem. Every 10, 10 minutes is a bus stop, okay? So you have from 0 to 10, okay? Then there's a uniform distribution, so fx equals 1 over 10 times x. Now it says the probability of individual with more than 4 minutes. So more than 4 minutes from 4 to 10, the distance is 6. Okay, And uh, px less than 10, bigger than 4, which is have the 6. The total thing length is 10, so it's a 3 out of 5. Okay, That's how you find the... Um, Normal distribution probability. The probability of between 1 and 4, less than 1, bigger than 4, and you draw a picture 0, 10, and it is 1 and 4. This distance equals 3. So equals 3 out of the total is 10. Number 3, you see it has a lot of um, questions, but they are very similar. I will pick up two to explain. Okay. So find the area. Um, to the curve lines to the left of z equals so z equals negative 1.21 and this table will give you the values so z equals negative 1.21 and to the left you always pay attention is it to the left or to the right and the picture this table give you all the values the probability or the area to the left okay this table give you the area Table give you the area to the left, okay? To the left of z. All right, let's check out negative one point two one. And negative one point two one, negative one point two zero is point zero zero five one. Negative negative point one two one. You see negative one point two. You can see negative 1.2, you can see that, negative 1.2, negative 1.2. You go um, horizontally, negative 1.20 is 0 0.1151. Negative 1.21 is 0 0.1131. So 
So the first answer is okay, probability of x z less than equal to negative one point two one. The answer is the area is point one one three one. You go to the line negative point one two. Go two steps. Go two. You can see nine zero point one one three one. That's negative one point one. Okay. So um, next one. Next one. Find the area that find the area under the curve uh, that lines to the right of two point zero one. So z equals two point zero one. So right. Okay. We're finding the right area. The right, the area to the right of this point. So to the right is this one. Suppose this is 2.1, 2.01, z score. Now the second table will give you the positive, positive values. 2.01, 2.0. So probability of z bigger than 2.01. And you, uh, since the table only give you the area to the left, now I'm looking for the area to the right. So I have to change that into the area to the left. They convert it. The whole, the total area is one. So you use the one minus the area to the left. It gives you the area to the right. Okay. So one minus p z less than two point zero one, and then the probability of let two point zero one, two point zero is nine seven seven two. Two point zero one says is nine point point nine seven seven eight. And they subtract it because it's to the right. Okay, the table give it to the for the area to the, to the left, and then you will find the area to the right. You subtract it from one, so it's point zero two two two. The next number is probability of um, between in between left right and then in between between negative point five eight uh, bigger than negative point two two two. So what do we need to do? We'll find this two. You can look at the picture. It ask you to find the, the probability in the middle, in this part. So you can use the big big one, okay? What do you need to do? You can use the green one, subtract the red one, which give you the middle one. So the green one is probability of z less than negative 0.58. Negative point five eight minus the probability of z um, less than negative point negative two point one one. So basically, find those two values, find those two probabilities, and this subtract them and give you the middle. So let's find the p z is negative negative is a uh, uh, top one. So five eight negative point five is point three zero eight five. And then you continue to the right and horizontally go to eight. Okay, so it's point two eight one zero. Okay, point two eight one zero five eight. So equals point two eight one zero minus um, two point one one. So two point one one. So it is two point one is point zero one seven nine. So horizontally one more. It's point zero one seven four. To find the answer is subtracted. It give you um, 0.2636. Okay, and then I think you can do the rest of yourself. It's either left or right in between. Again, repeat this uh, step again. Okay, and uh, then this one is they ask you find out um, the uh, z score. Now it's backwards. It gives you the area. It give you area, and it ask you to find out what the z score is. Previously, they give you z score, you find the area. Now, give you area, find the z score. Okay, so they're the same idea. The first one is the normal curve to the right of um, to the right of point three three seven two. You know the area. The table give you the area to the left. So. The left area will be one minus point three three seven two, or equals point um, six six two eight. Okay. So now this is the left area. We're going to find this value 
and the corresponding z score. Since this is less, it's bigger than half, it's positive. So let's go to the z score. We'll find out 0 0.06628. 0 0.6628. 6628, I just find it. Okay. So if you look at the point 0.4, 10123, this the up, the the top line, top line you can see 0 0.4, right? The inside you can see 1, 2, two more steps. Horizontal you go 2 more, you can see the point is 6628. 6, corresponding Z score is 0 0.4. And I go right 0, 1, 2, two more, so it's going to be point, point 0.42. That's your Z score. Okay, so. <clears throat> Next one uh, is to the left of to the left of point to the left of point one two three zero left of point one two three zero. This is much easier. Don't have even if since it gives you the left area, so just directly use the table one two three zero one. Let's find out zero point one two three in the in middle of the value. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So one, two, three. If you look at one point negative one point one line, negative one point one go right, horizontally go to the right, negative point one negative point negative one point one. Go one two zero. First one is uh, first one is zero, so it's one zero. Okay, negative one point one zero. You want zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. When you go to negative point one point one six, you will see the number. Okay, when you you're going to see the number point one two three zero corresponding to the area one two three zero. It's uh, the z va z score is under the line negative one point one to the right six. Okay, it's negative one point one six. This is how you find out the z score. Okay. So next one is between zero and z. Z is bigger than zero. The area. Now it says between zero to z. Between z equals zero. The middle number is zero. To z and this area is given between zero and z. This area is four eight eight one. So now it asks you to find out what is the z score right here. But the table only gives you the value to the left. So you have to add the left area. Okay. Since this um, bell shaped area is symmetric, so the whole thing is point is 1.0. So the red thing is 0.5. And then the whole area until the point actually is 0.5 plus 0.4881. Because the table only gives you from negative infinity until the z point, it does not give you just middle one. It gives you the whole area. So we're looking for the z score. This point. We're looking for this point. So now we add these two areas together and see what this point is. Although it only gives you from zero to that to this point is 0.4881. You have to add the 0.5 to the left. Okay, the left area part as well to find the z score. So this point 0.9881. So now we find point nine eight eight one, which is point nine eight eight nine eight eight one. Okay, so it's under the line two two point two two point two. You go zero one two three four five six. You go you go positive two point two six. Okay, two point two six. You can see the number is point nine zero eight eight one. Or nine eight 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 one. Okay, the last one. The last one. What you need to do is says between negative z and z with z is bigger than zero. I find a negative one so that in the end. Okay, then is between the negative z to positive z is point nine four six four. Okay, so it only give you the area to the left, right? So the middle one is point nine four six four. How about how about this how about this part? How about this part? Since it's symmetric, okay. Since this is symmetric, the whole thing is one. So you can use one minus point nine four six four divided by two. It gives you the area of you have to look. I have two question mark, right? 
two question mark. They're symmetric, so they're exactly the same. So the whole thing is one. So I use one, subtract the middle one, divide by two, it's going to be the area of one mass, one question mark. So the area is um, six, three, five, zero, zero. Divide by two, which is, um, I have to use the calculator. Give me one second. Point point zero two six eight point zero two six eight. This is one question mark area. So now I need to add these two together. Okay, so I'm looking for this point. And this area point nine four six four. This area point zero two six eight. So add these two area together is the area to the left of this this z score point. And then I add those two to nine four six four plus point zero two six eight. The value is plus point nine four six four equals nine seven three two. Nine seven three two. Now let's use the table. Nine seven three two. Nine seven three two you can see is one point nine. Go to the end of the line one point nine zero one two three. Is go to point one point nine three you can see the value is point nine seven two. Okay. So that's how you get answer one point nine three. Um Given a standard normal distribution, finding the value of k such that p z bigger than k equals 0.2611. This one, you have to pay attention. It says find the value of k such that p bigger than k is 0.6. So you have the k is right here. p bigger than k, right? This point here, this area is 0.2611. What you need to do, you need to use 1 minus 0.2611. Uh, you, ne you need to find the area to the left and then use the table, right? So the left area is 1 minus that. So equals 0 0.7389. You can find out uh, 7389, 7389. You can find at the end of the line, 0.6. Go to the 0.6 line. Okay. 0.6 line. You can look at that. 0.6. You go to the right. 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 0 0.64. Z equals 0.64. You go to 0 0.6, then go right to the four, to the, uh, fourth decimals. Okay. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 0 0.3, 7, 3, 8, 9 corresponding z value is 0.64. That's uh, pretty much the same as the previous one. Okay, you can finish the, all of them like the previous one. I think you should be uh, able to finish that. The normal distribution actually is not bad at all. Okay. Number six. Uh, I ask you, this says the normal distribution is 40. Oh, sorry, the x. A base normal distribution 40 and 7. Find the normal curve and the area to the right of x equals 21. Okay. And the normal curve to left, normal curve area between the normal curve left. Okay. So it takes a little bit of time, but all the process is the same. Okay. I like the question because it gives you a lot of uh, repeat training and it helps you memorize and uh, understand the idea. So the first, I'll just look at the first one. The first one is uh, to the area to uh, to the right of x equals 21. So x equals 21, you know the z-score formula is x minus mu over sigma. And I find a z-score which is 21 minus 40 over 7. Okay, so plug it in. This is your mu, this is your sigma. So find the, uh, the z-score over 7 which is Okay, negative 19 divided by 7, which is 2.71. So it's negative 2.71. And now it asks you to the area to the right. 
Okay, so this is negative 2.71, finding this area. What you need to do, you find the area to this point. So 1 minus, if they ask you right, you have to use 1 minus z less than um, negative 2.71. Okay, so now the area is, we we'll use a table, 2.71 is 9, so it's 1 minus 0.9966. Six. Okay, so the answer is 1 minus 0 0.9966. 0 0.0034. Why, where is the 4? I have the 4. Wait. Okay. So, find the area to the right of x um, equals 21. 21 equals, okay, let me check it again. 21 minus 40 divided by 7. The normal curve area to the right of x equals 21. So, 21... Oh, to the right. Sorry, my bad. Um, this area will find our negative 2.7, negative 2.71. Negative 2.7, 2.71 is 0.33. My bad, I think I made a mistake here, negative. It's 0 0.0034. Okay, you subtract that. It should be 0 0.99, um, 6, 2.71, 2.0. So six six, okay, point nine 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 six six. Okay, so the the rest of the few is pretty much the same idea. You use the the formula z equals x minus u over sigma. U is given u is uh, 40 and sigma equals uh, 7 and it gives you all the x values for example 29 so you plug all three into that then you find a z score you find a z score if it's a left you directly use a table if it's a right you use one minus the table value if it's in between you find two z score find the two properties subtract them okay it's pretty much the same as the previous uh, problem just the ask you have to use the formula to find a z-score yourself. The pre previous problem does not it give you the z-score directly. So this one, given normal distribution area, um, va the variable with mean mean x, a base normal distribution 15, standard deviation 2.5. Find the probability of x less than 12. So what do we need to do? This is a normal, distribu normal distribution. In order to use the standard normal distribution, we have to use the z-score formula. So z equals x minus mu over sigma. And I have to change that x minus mu over sigma. If you do that, you have to do the same thing on the right hand side. 12 minus mu is 15 over sigma is 2.5. And then you have, you change the, the x into z. So z less than uh, this is a negative 3 over 2.5 then you find area is directly is z less than z less than this point negative 3 over 2.5 okay. 1.2 so you find that the value is negative 1.2 and since this is less than you ask you less than this one this is negative 1.2 you ask you less than less than is to the left to the left, you directly use the table. Use the table, negative 1.2. Negative 1.2 is point, you can see negative 1.20. You, once you see the negative 1.2, go to the right. The first one is negative 1.20. So it's point 0.1151. The probability is point 0.1151. Okay, that's this, that's how you do this one. Uh, the next one, you find the key value. Basically, you find a z, uh, the key is a uh, z-score again. So what you need to do, you find a z-score first, okay? 
So the second one is Px less than k equals 0 0.2912. So first let's find out z score. Okay, so let's find out z score. What is z? And the z 292912. Let's go to the table. 292 two, 292 is 0.55. Okay, so z score is 0 0.55. 2912. The z score is negative, negative point, negative point five five. Okay, but the z is different from k. K is x value. Z is the z score. So I need to find out x minus x is k. Now it's kind of k. It's k value. Okay, k minus uh, fifteen because z equals x minus mu over sigma. Right? It is x minus the mu here is given over fifteen over two point five. So at k minus 15 over 2 point over 2.5 equals negative 0.55. Then you gotta answer k equals 15 minus 2.5 times 0.55. You solve for k. Okay, so track both multiply both sides by 2.5, add 15 on both sides. You get answer is 13.63. Okay. So I leave the third question, the C and D by yourself. I think you should have, be able to have the uh, ability to finish it. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, part bigger than three sig, negative three sigma, less than three sigma. So this one is uh, much simpler. So z equals. You don't have to do a lot of work. Z equals x minus mu over sigma, right? Now it is this what I tell you is mu plus three sigma minus mu over sigma. So basically, got z equals uh, mu cancel out three over three is three. And another one is mu minus three sigma and over sigma minus mu, and this is negative three. So the probability ask you what is z less than three bigger than negative three. So now what you need to do, you just use, you find a negative 3, O, use a positive 3, go first go to positive 3. Positive 3 give you, what's the uh, mean value, what's the probability of positive 3? Positive 3 is 0.9987, okay? Then what's the probability of a negative 3? Negative 3 is, probability of Z equals negative 3 is 0.9987. 0, 0, 1, 0013. You can find from table point negative 30. Oh. And you subtract those two and it give you the answer is a point nine nine seven four. Okay. This is the three sigma and whenever you you hurt three sigma standard quality control, you see a six sigma, okay, which is even better than this. Three sigma, that's a quality control standard, which means ninety-nine point seventy-four percent of the product satisfy the criteria. So when um, in the future when you never see three sigma six sigma uh, six sigma uh, standard is uh, from here, okay? It's the uh, normal distribution, the quality control percentage. So a lawyer commutes daily from his suburban home to the middle office. The average time from for one way trip is 23 minutes. So mu equals 23, and sigma equals 3.8. Assume distribution is normal distributed, and uh, what's the probability that uh, a trip will take at least half an hour? Half an hour is 30 minutes. So basically, it asks you what's the probability of x is bigger than equal to 30 minutes. This is a mu, this is a x, and this is a x. So sigma, you use a formula, z equals x minus mu over sigma. So what do we need to do? P equals x is 30. Um, sorry. Your formula is x minus mu over sigma bigger than equal to plug it in 30 minus mu 23 over sigma 3.8. So then you change the property into p z bigger than because we, we once we convert the x into z we can use the table. So it's 7 over 3.8. Then the answer is 7.7 7 over 3.8 equals that 1.84. So you got PZ is bigger than or equal to 1.84. Now it, it is bigger than, so I can only use less than. So I got P minus 1 minus Z less than 1.84. Because the table only gave me less than, gave me the area to the left. So now I use the table. What's the 1.84 to the left? 
1.8401234. It is 1 minus 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 6, 7, 1. Then you find the probability is 0 0.0329. That's the first question. That's the first answer. Okay. You find the z score. Then you use the probability distribution table. Next one. Um, if the office opens at 9 a.m. and he leaves at 8:40, 8:40, 8 sorry, 8:45 a.m. So basically, have 15 minutes. He got x equals 15 minutes. What's the percentage of the time that he late for work? Well, he late for work, which means whenever it's bigger, it requires bigger than 15 minutes, he's late. Okay, whenever it's bigger than 15, he's late because he only have 15 minutes now. Whenever he needs bigger than 15, he's late for the work. So now p is bigger than 15, so you just you just use the formula again. X minus mu of sigma bigger than 15 minus. Um, 23 over 3.8 you got p equals pz bigger than um, 15 minus 23 is the same idea 15 minus 23 negative 8 divided by 3.8 negative 2.1 okay negative 2.10 so the table only give you a probability to z to the left, z less than negative 2.10. So it's one minus the probability negative less than 2. 2 negative 2.1. So which is one minus point zero one seven nine. So 2.10, right? 2.10 is neg zero point zero one seven nine. So it's 0.9826, okay? That's how you do, um, it's 0.9898, then you have 98.26 percentage. So this is the same idea. The next one, I leave that one to you. You basically follow the same procedure, find out the z-score, find out z-score and find the probability, okay? So number 10, More than, <coughs> okay, so it says a set of obs observations is normally distributed. What's the percentage of this differ from mean by more than 2.2 two, 2 sigma? This is 2.2 2 sigma, okay, and it says 2.2 2 sigma, you also have a negative 2.2 2 sigma. This is also a way, suppose this is 2.2 2 sigma, this is 2.2 2 sigma, you have the left is negative 2.2. Right hand side is negative 2.2. More than that, so it's this one and uh, this one. Okay, and they are symmetric. You just need to find one of them. So probability of z less than negative 2.2. What's the area of that? You use the table. 2.2 is 0 0.0139. Okay. Since this is since this is uh, you have two sides. Okay. The right hand side is also part of is also. If it's this part also bigger than 2.2, .2, okay, it's away from 2.2 2 .2 sigma. So now what I do, I'm, since they're symmetric, I have to multiply this area by 2.2, 2, so it's 0.39, and you find the answer is 2.78%. Although you get 0 0.0278, but you multiply by 100, you got a percentage, so this is your answer, okay. You got the same idea for the second one. Um, a pair of dice is rolled uh, 120 times. What's the probability of a total of seven occurs at least 15 times? This one uses normal distribution, but the um, the dice itself is a um, it's binomial. So yeah, it's binomial distribution. Okay, the probability that seven occurs, you have one, six, six, one, two, five, five, two. A pair of dice, three, four, and four, three. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. You have six. Okay. Total, you have thirty-six combinations. One, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six. Continue. You got thirty-six combinations. So the probability seven occurs is one over six. Okay. The probability seven, the total of seven occurs is one over six. The probability of Q, the seven not occurs, is one minus one of six. It's five of six. Okay. So. 
Then the mu value equals MP, Q, MP, which is 120 times 1 of 6 is 20. Okay. Then also, you get a sigma equals square root of MPQ, which is square root of 100 times 1 of 6 times okay, 5 of 6. You find the sigma. Okay. It's uh, 600 divided by 600 divided by 36 and take a square root. 4.08. What you need to do now you have mu, you have sigma. Okay. So it says at least 15 times. At least 15 times you just use x is bigger than 15. Okay, you have your mu, you have your sigma. You can use the formula now. So it's p x minus mu over sigma bigger than 15 minus mu, which is 20 over sigma 4.08. Okay, then you got your p z is bigger than this number. You can find this number is negative five over four point zero eight. You find p z is bigger than this number, and then you find you have to use one minus p z less than this number. Okay, negative five five negative divided by four point zero eight is negative negative one point two two. 2, 3, 2 to 5 actually, you can use 2, 3. Then you use the uh, distribution table, find this num value, you got the uh, final answer is 0.9115, okay? Um, number, number 12 is a beta distribution. So beta distribution, you just take a, use the beta distribution formula, you can use a beta distribution formula, fx equals, I believe it's one of the beta, e to the power, um, let me find beta distribution, e to the power, um, what's the beta, one of the beta, sorry, beta to the gamma, gamma, alpha, e to the x, e to the alpha, minus one, sorry, x, x to the gamma minus one, and uh, e to the negative x of the beta. You just plug it in, you get your fx equals, beta is one to two, so it, you, it's one square, gamma two, gamma two equals one, okay? Gamma two equals, and x to the first power, two minus one, and e to negative x over beta, so it's just e to neg negative x, okay? All right, so what you need to do, um, gamma 2 equals, gamma 2 equals uh, 2 minus 1 times gamma 1, which is 1 times 1, which is 1. So the whole thing is 1. Now, the probability between, probability between 1.3 less than x less than 2.1, this equals from 1.3, take the antiderivative of x e to negative x, dx. And you use the antiderivative formula, f find out this is, uh, you can use the integral part, you got this answer is 0.2472, okay. You can use the, uh, uh, your calculator, find the antiderivative formula, is okay. Or you can use the integral part, u dv, u is x, dv is e to negative x, and uh, you got a 1, 0, you got an e to negative x negative, you got e to negative x again. So tabula method plus minus um, this you got um, negative e to negative x negative x minus e to negative x okay and then plug in 2.1 and the 1.3 into that subtract them okay so this is how you do the antiderivative uh, 1.3 1.3 is 1.3 is the length of time one individual to be served at a cafeteria is random variable having three have an exponential function with a mean of seven minutes of seven minutes okay an exponential function and then what's the probability at least the person served at less than six minutes on at least the three of the five next to five days so what what do you need to do you have to find out the probability distribution find out p x less than six okay so First, you use the exponential distribution. Exponential distribution, find the probability first. You find the probability, then you, you use the binomial distribution at least a three over five. You can um, 
you can view an example. First, you use the exponential distribution, and then you use the binomial, distribu binomial distribution. You first, you need to find out p. p equals x equals less than six minutes. Okay. So what you need to do? Let me let me find out the exponential distribution. So is from zero to six. Okay. So one over beta squared. Beta is seven, so it's one over um, forty-nine x e two negative x over seven dx. I think you can. This is how you find out the normal. You find you use a normal distribution, find the probability. Then you use that p and you find a q. Then you know using the binomial distribution to this one. Okay. Uh, if you need help, and just let me know, and I have to go through this video quickly. And uh, then, um, if you need help on 13, I will uh, just let me know. But there is an example; it's very uh, specific. This one, um, as much as as much more, it's simple. It takes less time. I'm going to explain this one. Uh, so since the failure rate lambda equals 0 0.0125, then the mean value mu equals one over lambda, which is one over 0 0.0125 equals 80. Okay. The probability of uh, 320 hours will pass before failure observed. So you just use that um, probability distribution 320 to um, infinity. Uh, 320 hours will pass before failure is observed. So use the exponential distribution. Um, let me find out exponential distribution, the probability of. Okay. So is. You got this is one over. Okay. One over. Eighty, e two, negative y over. Uh, four. Wait, negative one. The y is normal. Exponential distribution. Y over. Nomina. Nomina e to negative x. Nomina x, right? Negative nomina x. Nomina is also y over a d. Okay, dy. Okay. Then you find the probability of this one is point zero one eight three. Okay. And this is how you. I think this is how you do this one. All right. So I'm going to upload this uh, video into the um, into detail.